If you hood educated, I'm glad you made it. Allow me to unfold my knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from a hood brother's point of view to all of you here, there, and everywhere. Now check me out. Y'all see that? Here it is. That's Big U. For those of you who don't know who Big U is, Big U is a nationally known Rolling 60s Crip gang member. Uh, some people will even say that he's the head of the Rolling 60s Crips. Some people will even take it as far as saying that he is the face of the Rolling 60s Crips. And as y'all can see, He's buddy buddy showing all his teeth, smiling hard with Gunner. Now, for those of you who don't know, Gunner is a rat. We ain't gonna play no games with it. Let's just let's just call it what it is, right? Gunner is a snitch. And for those of you who don't know or why he snitched or how he snitched or anything like that, uh he was a part of that YSL Rico down there in Atlanta, Georgia. And the main thing that Young Thug and all those guys down there was trying to tell the well, one of their defenses was, hey, look, we are not a gang, so y'all can't apply that Rico to us. We are a record label. YSL is a record label, not a gang. If they could approve that to the district district attorney, then the Rico would have had to go. They couldn't charge them with Rico. They couldn't have. But if they can prove that they are a gang, then they can say, yep, yeah, we can apply this Rico to y'all because y'all are a organized criminal gang. And when Gunner sat up there and told the prosecuting attorney, YSL is a gang, he destroyed their defense, period, because he is YSL. You see what I'm saying? So he destroyed that defense. It's over with. Because here it is. You got a YSL gang member telling the district attorney, yep, we a gang. Therefore, telling on Young Thug because his defense is, hey, we're not a gang. Now, you see Big U, buddy buddy, with a well-known snitch. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Now, allow me to say this right here because I know all the hood guys, the street guys, they love this type of talk right here. When I talk like this, they love this. Yeah, hood educated, he a snitch, he a rat and all that. But it's a flip side to this. Stay tuned, don't go nowhere because I got some body blows of truth that I need to hit y'all with. Now, allow me to say this right here. Here it is, right? Big U, arm to arm, I'm talking about shoulder to shoulder with Gunner. From a hood perspective, this is a no-no. This is a no-brainer. From a hood perspective, look, from a game banger's perspective, Gang bangers and hood guys, street guys, whatever y'all calling yourself nowadays, you know that you are to have no dealings with anybody that sat down with law enforcement. Gunner did that. So Big U should know better, right? But allow me to say this right here, y'all. For all you young brothers, pay attention to what's going on before your eyes. Pay attention. What Big U is showing y'all right now with these pictures, he is showing every single young gang banger right now today 
that that gangbang lifestyle don't mean shit at all. And that you are wasting your time and energy trying to be a gang banger. Because we got to understand something. If gang banging was all beneficial and it was all good, there would, there would be no way that Big U would be standing next to this man. Now, I can hear a lot of y'all saying, hey, hood educated, he checked in and he probably paid the big homie. Let me tell you something. There's not a amount, I don't care how much money a snitch is talking about paying somebody. It goes against the rules. It goes against street code. Yeah, he could have paid him or whatever, but he ain't supposed to be seen with him smiling. Shoulder to shoulder. But truthfully, I don't think that gonna pay. I think that, let me tell y'all what I believe. And what I, I'm talking, I'm almost 100%. I know this to be the truth. Big U is not gang banging anymore. Y'all mean to tell me that the same Big U that's raising other people's children, the Big U that's uh, got all those little boys and girls out there playing them sports, becoming uh, football players and stuff like that, the same Big U that's about uplifting his community and not destroying his community, the same Big U whose son just went to the NFL, you mean to tell me y'all want him to still be on that small-minded, backwards thinking? Nah. Nah. And that's why I'm telling y'all, he's showing y'all that that lifestyle that he used to live, to my old Big U, the one that was selling all that dope, robbing, stealing, kidnapping, killing, Got other people's putting in work and all that old type of stuff. Him, he's gone. He's no longer here. That big you right there is dead and gone. Why? Because the new big you then came to a realization that, hey man, that lifestyle that I used to live, that wasn't about nothing. That wasn't even cripping. Yeah, yeah. Listen, the life that Big U is living right now, raising them kids, taking care of the community, making sure that everything is straight around him, that's crippling. So let me hit y'all with some body blows of truth real quick. A lot of you brothers that's in that crip gang that's running around here right now, Destroying your community, selling drugs in your community, killing one another, shooting, stabbing, fighting one another. Y'all ain't cripping. Oh, man, hood educated. Don't talk to them like that, man. You're going to have these young boys trying to kill. Listen to me. Don't get mad at me when I tell y'all this. Just listen to me just for one second. From my understanding, Crips is a branch off of the Black Panthers. Community, revolutionary, and progress. What does that have to do with selling dope in your community, robbing, stealing, and killing each other? Nothing. If you are community revolutionary, in progress, that means that you will be doing everything that Big U is doing right now. That's cripping. What Snoop Dogg is doing right now, that's cripping. Yeah. If you out there doing anything opposite of what Big U is doing, I got to question your cripping. Now, I'm not even going to stop at the crypts. Vice lords, disciples, y'all too. Y'all know that, listen, 
all the disciples, all the vice lords, stones. Y'all know we are not supposed to be in our communities destroying our communities. We're not supposed to be killing each other. No, we're not supposed to be in our neighborhood selling dope. We are supposed to be the ones that's going against anything that's bringing misery to our communities. So if you're calling yourself a vice lord, a disciple, a stone, and you destroying your community, I got a question. I got a question. All that. Because your literature tells you that you're not supposed to be doing none of that. And that go for you blood brothers as well. So, when I see Big U kicking it with Gunner, I, hey man, hey brother. Because he's seeing the big picture it ain't about him no more it ain't even about gunner no more it's about them children them kids they want to see gunner they happy it's not about that criminal activity it's not about that criminal that criminal mind anymore it's not about none of that that's what allows him to smile and stand next to Gunner. Yeah, that's what allows him to do that. Now, if he was a uh, big youth from back in the day, he wouldn't be able to do that. He'll probably be trying to cut Gunner's head off right now. He probably have Gunner somewhere tied up in the basement, kidnapped. Hey, uh, where the rest of that stuff at? Where the rest of that money at? We need you to take out this, tell your mama to bring this, tell your daddy to bring that, tell your girlfriend to bring this. We need all your jewelry. That's not the big you no more. Y'all want him. He gone. He done game banging for y'all. He done destroying the community for y'all. He done with all that. Y'all ain't finna get him no more. He's done with all that. So don't be mad at this brother when y'all see this brother making this change. Why? Because he is showing all of you, bloods, crips, vice lords, stones, disciples. It's not about that. It's not about that nonsense. Gonna got to deal with what he got to deal with. He made that bed. He got to lay in it. But if Gunner can bring some type of good to the community and Big U can use that good, then he ain't wrong for using it. Nah, he ain't wrong at all for using it. So for all of you brothers, and I know my hood brothers, I know y'all, man, y'all probably like hood educated. You supposed to bet down on Big U. He ain't supposed to. I'm giving y'all the real, man. We got to stop Falling for this madness. I'm giving it to y'all raw. He's showing y'all that look. The mass majority. Of gang bangers. That was really in them streets for real. Are not in them streets for real. Now that they was able to grow. Into a classic man. So that should tell you youngsters like. Why Big U ain't gang banging the way he used to? Why he ain't kidnapping and selling dope like he used to? Why he ain't robbing, stealing, and killing like he used to? Because he understands all that was a waste of time and it was for nothing. Don't get me wrong. He's still 60s. We can't take that away from him. He's still neighborhood rolling 60s. But he crip in the proper way. Yeah. He demonstrating what crip really mean. Yeah. So we got to understand something. Especially all you young brothers that's in these gangs. 
All I want y'all to do, just please take a second out your day right now. And just think, look at some of the older brothers that's in that gang. I don't care what color you is. Just think about some of the older heads that was old enough to survive. I guarantee you they not doing the same stuff that they used to do. And it's not just because they, they done got old. No, because old men, it don't take that much to pull the trigger. It don't take that much to ride out. It don't take that much to sell dope and all that old type of stuff. If you see a guy from your neighborhood that is doing right, allow him to do right. Allow him to be right. Because he recognized all that wrong that he was doing, it was for nothing. Like I always tell y'all, the only benefits that you're going to get out of game banging is going to jail or you going to die, period. Ain't not, you going to die or you going to jail. You going to get shot. You going to suffer a lot of misery. You going to get stabbed. You going to get beat up. You going to get back doled. You going to get betrayed. What's, where's the benefits? Where's the benefits? Oh, you get to hang with the brothers. Y'all get to kick it. Y'all get to shoot at people together and all that. Only for one of them to go to jail and then tell on you. There's no, it's a waste of your time. And Big U is showing y'all right now by taking this picture with Gunner. Knowing that Gunner is a viral snitch right now. And he's sitting up there smiling like he doesn't care no more about what you gangbangers think. Because one day, if, if you live to be Big U's age, that's if you live to be that brother's age, you're going to learn and you're going to say, you know what? Big U was right. Listen, brothers, let me tell y'all something. Change your mind now. Don't wait to get Big U's age to change your mind. You can change your mind right now and start doing right for yourself and your family and your community right now. There's benefits in changing your mind right now. You don't have to worry about none of the stuff that I just described that, that I'm talking about that's going to cause you all the harm and misery in your life. You ain't going to have to worry about none of that stuff. Big U is showing y'all what time it is. I would advise y'all to pay attention. This hood educated, not lame related. Peace and love and y'all take care of yourself out there. If I said anything that caused you to think, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. And if you're feeling generous, please make a small donation to the channel. Now, before I depart, allow me to give a shout out to some of the blessings that I received this week. Allow me to give a shout out to Paul Harris for the $5 cash app. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate that. Uh, allow me to give a shout out to the home girl, Chi-Town Sweetie, for the $25 cash app. Thank you, sister. You know I, you already know I appreciate it, sister. Uh, Allow me to give a shout out to Richard Williams for the $10 cash app. Thank you, brother. I really appreciate that. And the brother Antoine Parks for the $1 cash app. Thank you, Antoine. I appreciate that. And last but not least, allow me to give a shout out to Verse for the $5 cash app. This is Hood Educated, not Lane Related. Peace and love. And y'all take care of yourself out there.